there are n minus 1 passes with order n comparisons and movements in each pass. Thus, the bubble sort is an n squared sort. The data is now sorted, but the program does not discover this and continues through the remaining passes. To speed up the bubble sort, we must notice when items are already in order. One method that does this is known as the shaker sort. The shaker sort, just like the bubble sort, first moves the smallest item to the top. Now we reverse directions, start at the top, and move the largest item to the bottom. We alternate forward and backward passes like a cocktail shaker. Notice that the four items about to be considered are in the correct order. The shaker sort will discover this because from here up it will swap no items. Thus, they must be in the correct order and also in their correct position. The shaker sort is better than the bubble sort because it transports large as well as small items toward their ultimate destination and because it takes advantage of order in the data. But even better is the best of the exchange sorts, the quick sort invented by Hoare. begins by choosing one item as a pivot. It will rearrange the sequence to separate all items smaller than the pivot from all those larger. We scan down from the top looking for an element larger than the pivot. And scan up from the bottom looking for one smaller than the pivot. And interchange the two items. We again look for a larger item and a smaller item and interchange them. We continue this process until the smaller items are separated from the larger items. Then move the pivot between the two sets. Notice that everything above the pivot is smaller than everything below it, thus we need consider the pivot no further, and can apply the technique recursively to the two sets. With a set of smaller items, we choose a new pivot, find a larger item, and a smaller item, and interchange them. Again, a larger item, and a smaller item, and a swap. Now we move this pivot between the two sets of items into its correct position. When we have four or fewer items to sort, we use a simpler technique such as the bubble sort, not shown here. Now we begin again on a set of items larger than the original pivot. sort and the bubble sort and the shaker sort, we again resort to experiment. sort is identical to those of the bubble sort, 
because the exact same exchanges are done, albeit in a different order. Again, let's race the three machines in a typical sequence. One will use the bubble sort, one the shaker sort, and one the quick sort. Can you tell which is which? Sleep, we'll now speed up the race by a factor of five. techniques are called selection sorts. Each one works by successively selecting the smallest item, then moving it into place. The simplest selection sort is called straight selection. the data looking for the smallest item. And moves it into the correct position. We then look through the remaining data for the next smallest item. And move it into position. Notice how this differs from an insertion sort. In an insertion sort, we find the correct position for the next item we are inserting. In a selection sort, we search through the entire sequence for the smallest remaining item. Each of the n minus 1 passes takes order n comparisons and a single data movement, so straight selection is an n squared sort. To speed up the selection sort, we organize the data into a tree and apply a technique known as tree selection. Tree selection first compares pairs of items at the bottom level, selects the smaller of each pair, and promotes it to the next level. We now compare two items that have been promoted and select the smaller of the pair. This leaves a vacancy in the tree, which we immediately fill. We compare another pair of items, promote the smaller of this pair, and fill the vacancy that results. At last we reach the top of the tree. Fill the vacancy at the level below. And the next vacancy. And output the smallest item. We can now select the second smallest item. Fill the resulting vacancies. and output it. Each successive pass outputs the smallest remaining item. <laughs> 